um, they, they, um, as Federals had, um, had come into action, um, uh, Gross has, had been originally fighting Wright's Brigade um, to the south of us from where we, um, we came. Um, and when Van Cleve comes in on Wright's um, uh, left, there is, as David noted, there is a space between um, uh, Gross's right and Stan, Sam Beatty's brigade, the left of Van Cleve's division. And Van Cleve um, is, um, is not really con committed in any real coordination with, um, with Palmer. Again, it's kind of a march to the sound of the guns um, uh, thing for, uh, for Van Cleve. Um, and, um, and so there is this space or interval between. Um, and the 75th um, uh, Indiana is going to wind up um, being committed into, um, into that space, um, as we'll see. But as Bates comes forward, Bates right is going to be able to take advantage of this Union line, which is not really um, contiguous from, um, from here near um, Gross's right to um, the 75th Indiana to the left of, um, of Beatty's uh, brigade. Um, and into that, um, that interval, it's going to fall, force um, Gross to, uh, to fall back to 6th Ohio, who we stopped by. Um, they have been sent to the rear to resupply. Yeah, they're not here at this right, moment. Right at this moment, they're not here. They've right. been sent to the rear to resupply with ammunition, and we actually will see them this afternoon um, in, um, in our discussion. Um, the, uh, the, the Union side kind of of, um, of this. Um, but we're on Gross's ground um, here, and um, Gross, because he wants to maintain connection to, um, to Cruft's right, um, to the west of, or east of us, uh, Gross, when he falls back, is going to fall back to the north and actually a little bit to the north, um, northeast, actually opening further that space between uh, Palmer's right and Van Cleve's um, uh, left. Um, and into that space, Bates Brigade is going to begin to, um, to advance. Um, and so, the 4th um, Georgia Battalion sharpshooters and the 20th Tennessee um, are going to advance um, um, up onto uh, to this ground. Federals are going to disappear in, um, in that, um, that direction. The 84th is going to find itself uh, pushed back into the lower ground. This is an instance where the Confederates move up and actually take this higher ground, and then it's going to be a, a problem for, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure, he's reaching for an account. <laughs> um, I know which county he's going to read, uh, uh, but, uh, but this highlights the problem. We have uh, Van Cleve's two brigades from the 21st Corps. We have Palmer's division, which is the 21st Corps division, but he's not in contact with Van Cleve. We have the 75th Indiana, which is from the 4th Division of the 14th Corps, that's just been kind of thrown into the middle of this gap without uh, 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 solid communication along that line. So we have three different moving pieces, and when when they fall back, they're going to fall back in different directions. Gross, as pointed out, is going that way. Mm -hmm. He's going to the north uh, uh, northeast. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, in, in the book title I wrote, I said, uh, Bate opens the door. He's kind of shoving the flying back, and uh, the 75th will fall back in that direction. So suddenly, there's a gap, a, a, a straight path to a part of the Union rear. He doesn't know where that <laughs> is at the moment, mm. but uh, but he has achieved something fairly significant here. Um, somewhere along in um, in this line on ground, very similar to this, the 84th Illinois being driven off in that direction to the lower ground. Um, James Cooper of the 20th Tennessee. Um, we'll um, we'll uh, make um, these observations. Um, we um, uh, uh, moving to the front. We were soon under a very heavy fire. We pressed steadily forward, unchecked by the murderous discharges of their small houses loaded with um, canister and grape, and drove the first line from their position. Here occurred the prettiest fighting during the whole war. We rushed up on a hill. And the enemy were just below us, crowded in what he says is a deep hollow. Mm. Um, 
Our rifles were in prime condition and our ammunition so good that I rarely or that I really enjoyed the fight. The enemy's reserve was soon brought up, and then we had hard work um, to hold our position. Um, the, um, the 20th Tennessee, probably on this ground or something very much like this, right in this area, uh, firing down on Federals who were being driven across this low ground, this where there's a drainage, um, and to the other side. Apparently he didn't get hit in his combat. Uh, right. That's why it was. That's why it was pretty bad. That's why it was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. That was until somebody I, gets hurt. Have, I have a captain in the 84th Illinois, and they're not having nearly They're not nearly enjoying it nearly as well. They take some considerable casualties. Mm. Okay, so let's move to the right of the brigade. <laughs>